Once we had decided to attend the Flesh and Blood World Championship 2022, we asked ourselves, what, if anything, significant or memorable could we contribute to this once in a lifetime event? Looking for an adequate way to celebrate the great coming together and commemorate the recent three-year anniversary, we remembered Pro Tour Lille. The box opening collab was great fun, if not at Worlds, when and where should we open another Crucible of War first edition box? However, the idea of a simple repetition did not sit well with us. After three years of trials and tribulations, maybe it would be a better idea to make a journey back in time and open one box of each set. And to make it real special and create memories by sharing memories, invite good company to join the openings and share the walk down memory lane and even do some good along the way. We decided that this was the way to go. Contacts were made, feedback was given, dates were set. And then, coming together in San Jose, the time had come to open the boxes on site. Of each box, cards were chosen to be amplified in worth by special signature and to be finally auctioned off for a good cause. The story of this journey is told by this series of videos. The story of a journey back in time, remembering the past, celebrating the present, on a route to a plentiful future. White Rabbit Community Game Store presents A Memories Creating Memories production a journey back in time box opening series. I'm Fugan, very I'm gentle. I think we've been doing okay. I'm still in San Francisco. Probably would have picked on the platform. And I do love the platform. That got me very excited. Go on in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another really big card. Recorded on site in San Jose, California. This is all it is right here. We opened yesterday. The journey I've had with this set. Uh... During the World Championship 2022 weekend. Surprised by the number of brick foils. Community members from all around the world joined to open one box each set. Oh, key card for like an OTK. Just rolling when you were behind. And he brings them over. Quite a lot. Maybe I'll go. Oh, we can Nice. And nice. pick cards to be signed and auctioned off for a good cause. Sharing and creating memories in flesh and blood. Hello and welcome to our journey back in time. This is Heiner from White Rabbit Community Game Store. Thanks for tuning in. Following the bustling activities of the Everfest Carnival, our raffle pool enjoyed a whole bunch of new entries. Among them is our second legendary Stalagmite Bastion of Eisenloft, a top 5 value Everfest hit. Besides that pretty obvious choice, Zack and Alex picked some more cards to be added, each one telling its own tale as to why it was picked. If you haven't yet, check out the opening. Having Zach and Alex as co-hosts was everything I expected, except time and place. As winter arrives in the Northern Hemisphere and the end of 2022 nears, it is time to watch us return to the standalone flesh and blood set dedicated to the cold, the lightning and the earth. Tales of Aria, originally released in September 2021, carrying that year's national season in limited and constructed. Hammering this one home is a Tales of Aria expert, avid flesh and blood player, push the point team member, metalhead marvel with the soul of an angel and the voice of a demon. Or was it the other way around? It's the one, the only, Hamish. Will our legendary streak continue? Will we finally get super lucky and pull a fabled to stand at the crossroad of elements, the landmark of Corsham? Let's see. Hello and welcome to a new episode of White Rabbit TV. We are at um, the Flesh and Blood World Championships. Woohoo! And we, that's uh, Hamish, uh, to my side, at yeah. my side, right at my side. I'm right, right at your right, side, boy. Right at your side, right? <laughs> and we are excited because we are going to open a Tales of Aria first edition display. Um, as part of the uh, Journey Back in Time box opening series. Yeah. And to recap a bit here, um, we're opening one box of each set. Right. The guests will uh, have the choice of picking one card or even more cards if they choose to. And these will go into a raffle pool and James White will pull cards out of the raffle. 
and uh, those will be auctioned off for a good cost. Ah, oh, fantastic. I, well, for me, I hope I can find uh, one, of, one of my most special cars in here. Which would be? Uh, Creepers. Creepers? Yeah, man. Okay. Cre Creepers uh, definitely... Uh, this set, to be fair, I'm really happy that I'm doing this this set because I think it's uh, it, 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 there's a lot, I have a lot of uh, attachments to yeah. what this set has brought and what journey I've had with this set for um, my time doing uh, the UK Nationals last yeah. year. So yeah. I'm really happy that we we're going to open this set. That's up. Uh, the period I also remember and connect with it because we were doing Nationals last year. Yeah, and I remember yeah. you being in stream. So oh no, yeah, and but I was, that's, I was, that's yeah. what we're going to talk about. Do you want me to crack it open? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. sweet man. Cool. It's been a little while since I've got a box opened. And first edition as well. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Could I have some left? Can you take first yeah. edition? Yeah. All right. You know, um, when I prepared the stream of the first edition uh, of the Nationals last year, um, I was watching the UK stream because yeah. I guess it was a week before ours. We were the first, yes. Yeah. yeah. And right. that, for me that was the benchmark and I said, okay, all my preparations, what have I done? Um, does it compete? Does it not compete? Because and I wanted our product to, to be competitive with, with yours and yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, to be the best we could do and yeah. So what do you, so is there a particular thing or is it just the way I like to do it? Just the way you like to do it. Alright, okay, cool. So I tell you what, I haven't opened up a uh, yeah. uh, Tales of Our Own <laughs> box in some time. I'm trying to remember yeah. what it was. So we got these are the foils over yeah. there yeah. and then then you get your equipment and then everything else is tends to be pretty cheap. I'll tell you what I can't help but doing is every time I open up a, a Tales of Aria pack, my brain goes straight away into pack one pick one. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. we, we did a lot of testing with Tales of Aria um, during the draft season. Uh, like, well, when we were working out through in draft, uh, my, a friend of mine um, called Mark Henderson, he made up a... Uh, a website called um, Draft Fab, and you can go on Draft Fab okay. now. And it was just this uh, program to help us to get ready for draft because yep. it was the first time really anyone yep. tried to draft, like because it was part of the yep. part of the scene. And oh man, just all going through all these cars and sitting there going right, okay. And my head just goes okay, which one is the first one that I would pick? And wow, if I was probably would be that. I don't, Oh, oh, you got as well, <laughs> and it's all the exciting stuff about the elements because you've got all these class cards here as well. Yeah, and yeah, they're not the ones you look at. It's not uprising, right? Uprising, you're straight away going, oh, okay, you know, this would have been like, oh, that's a sick rare yeah. card. I'm taking that, like done. Whereas this, it's like, okay, well, here's a good olden cards and a good. It's potentially a well, no, actually, this is a good straight up good olden card. This is just like a sick like um, briar card. Mm -hmm or uh, a Lexi yeah. car. So you just tend to just lean in on the elements. Yeah. Oh man, oh, I'll tell you what, I could waffle on about all this, right? Ages, <laughs> we've got a whole box to go through. Yeah. Have you drafted any other set as much? Just no, no, so the, 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 like Monarch wasn't really a set. Oh, okay, I don't know if I'm getting excited about that. <laughs> um, Monarch wasn't really a set that a lot of, a lot of us um, drafted that much, so that was kind of like a little bit of a mist like sort of when no one was really drafting that much then because we're still in the middle of covid like there was trying to get a game of monarch in. it all started off mostly on webcam online stuff yeah. and it was just the objective was to try yeah, and meet those, up those were the days yeah those were the days okay yeah. okay um there's not much in the way of a pack one pick one um Ball lightning? Uh, no, the blue background screen is good. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you can t you can tell this is what I saw what I did for Tales of Aria. Yeah. So also Tales of Aria was one of the very first. Um, uh, it was the set that actually really helped me to get um, into. All right, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. This would have been a fine. But this is a fine pick. Um, it was it was the set that got, I really I really really like Tales of Aria um, as as a draft set. Like I think it's one of my favourite ones mm -hmm. that they've done um, because I really love the element stuff. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm not knocking on that pricing. It's, yeah. it's fine. 
Yep. Like, uh, it's, it's not it's not bad, it's fine. I think maybe we've probably just paid too much of it. But there's something about this where I'm just like, I don't know, man, there's so many mix. I feel like there's still so much for me to even learn mm. from this. Okay, yeah, I want to pick that one. It was um, the first set that was said to be what FAP was really intended to be, right? If you, if yes. You remember. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. No, I agree. He's went talents in, and that was yeah, his yeah. vision, James's vision. Yeah, it, it really. The thing is that they, the talents, everyone. It was weird because this is like the one where they kind of went, no, well, they're all the same talent as mm -hmm. elementals, yeah. but we've like split a talent into three, mm -hmm. and we share. It was like this. This is wild, but I will say as well. Um, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Now that would have been a. That was always a hot pick, especially if you're going to play a Briar. Yeah. Yeah, in draft, that's a hot pick. I will say that Tales of Aria, as much as a very uh, like emotionally connected I am to this set, this set was absolutely crackers. It was every all the heroes and so many cards are here are broken beyond belief. Yeah. Like old him, but like Briar when they when she first came out, I think I've just I don't know if I can see a, an old one here, man. Those heroes were crazy. Yep. <laughs> it was so strong. And I think as a lot of people don't give this set like... Um, Enough credit? Well, I don't think we realise how nuts and broken some of these heroes are. Like, man, Ball Lightning. What a, like, that's, mm -hmm. that, that, that was banned. A complete hero had to be completely errated. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it was just... Just wild, man! Absolutely <laughs> wild! How crazy good this, like, all the heroes are in this set. Oh, <laughs> here we okay. go! It's not, it's not the old art, but, but no, this yeah. is, this has got to be your first, first good hit. This yeah. is the first good hit. Yeah, man! I would have been. Well, okay, say, let's let's leave that one. Let's leave that one. That would, uh, that would be the, that would probably be Pat. That's that's Pat one pet one. Yep. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. straight away. Blue, block three, I, yes, yeah, channel eight, Bridget, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'll tell you what, maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm actually leaving the pile. Well, okay. it, I'm, I, I don't know why I'm doing this, I don't have to. But we'll, we'll, I'll start cleaning up a Do little bit. Do it your way. But no, I'm, I'm putting the pile of the card I probably would have picked on the pack one. Ah, pick one. okay. So I'm putting that one on the top and then the rest I would have just passed <laughs> over. Uh, yeah, what else have we got? Oh, no, that's not bad. Uh, that's cool. What was one of the things that you? What was? Is there anything about Tales of Array that really hit home for you? You mean card-wise? Yeah, or I, I don't know. Just just in general, is there like was was did, was this uh, was there any heroes that that? that I was very motivated to um, try out Lexi because of the archery. Yeah, yeah. They finally because made I'm a very, ranger. That very was... deep into archery. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah that's, that's that's. So what about what about in the game? All right. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I didn't find the time to be honest. No, that's fair. That's with fair. the stores no. running and nationals especially. I mean national cost me time like mad. And I spent days uh, just working on the stream technology and doing the layouts for the stream and all of that. Oh, so okay. yeah. uh, the time I had I invested in in the store and the running of the nationals and not in playing. No, no, that's fair man. That's, yeah. that's totally fair. Yeah. Okay. But it's sad. It's fair, but it's very sad. I, I would like to play more, but yeah, no, that's fair. And I'm also, I'm not a competitive player. Oh, so, okay. Um, I rather play cooperatively. But it, if Fab has taught me one thing, it's how you can play competitively and still enjoy it together, even though you have to beat each other. Yes. It's it's a different kind of beating each other up than other games. It's it's a good way. Now if, if we now decide to slug it out, it's still <laughs> still friendly gaming, you know. No, it's yeah. competitive but it's on a friendly basis. Yes, no, you yeah. know exactly what you mean. Um, tell you what, you got some free this 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 pack here pretty good so t th this term timber and the sigil of suffering mm -hmm. is like they would be excellent cards mm -hmm. to have if you are obviously runeblade or um guardian especially term timbers mm -hmm. and guardian absolutely mm -hmm. crazy but you'd never this is the thing like again i go back to it like you wouldn't you'd never you could some people just go straight in 
with just grabbing the stuff, especially Runeblade. Runeblade is one of those few heroes that could actually just turn around and go, I don't need to commit too hard on the on, on get, making mm. sure they grab the elements. Mm. It's just more... You still have can, your options. Yeah, after, just, just, just grab the cards. The yeah. card, because that hero was just predominantly all about playing a non-attack and a non-attack and just getting that mm. um, that go again. They, like, um, Alexi and Oldham were very much, especially Oldham. Oldham was like so dependent mostly on, on making sure that he's got mm. the good fuse targets. You need to have like the solid green earth cards yeah. so that you can just pitch, pitch that away so you can block, like mm. prevent two damage from someone. And it was a really strong strategy to just sit there and go, you know what, I'm just gonna keep my deck and I'm just gonna deck you out. Mm. And that was mm. that was one of the strategies that I took when I went to the UK Nationals. And it was just, I don't need to wipe you out and help. I just need to always just have a bigger deck yeah. than you. And then yeah. occasionally I'll just come in for 10 and know you're not gonna, you're not yeah. gonna take 10. Yeah. You're just, so there's four cards. I was actually just kept more just counting. Mm. Okay, that's cool. That's just four cards out of your hand. Mm -hmm. I didn't do any damage. That's fine. Four cards out of your hand. I draw back up. They draw back up, and I go, okay, here's some more, more cards. And if yeah. they come back and do anything, I go, okay, well, this blocks the two. Well, I can just pitch it, mm -hmm. and it blocks the two. Yeah. And then I've still got more cards than you. Yeah. So that was, that was, that was one of the things I really, really, really liked and enjoyed about playing this game. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, we haven't hit anything spicy. Oh, what was the shiny? That was the shiny. Shiny one was uh, strength of. Yeah. Oh, uh, strength of Sakura, yeah. man. That was that's a really this, this as well. Um, the the artist Matthews. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows I can never say your name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but he's his a lot of his stuff. Uh, the artwork came through out on here as well. One of the things that I really loved about it is the the amulets. I love the am amulets in the Tales of Aria set because mm -hmm. it, I think it really set home the the emotional and the feel of like the, all the different areas. And I think the first things I remember being shown off in Tales of Aria was the, the three amulets that started yeah. to come out. And mm -hmm. we're all like, what on earth is this green earth? Yeah. What is earth? And all of this, and it was like, that's what set the present. Yeah. And then look, funny enough now, me, um, me and Dar, uh, uh, me, Simon, and Trip, the guys from Push the Point, uh, we've got we had an awesome uh, play map um, mm. made up by Matthias, and it's all very much down to the elements as well, and it's all based on the fact that he had this yes. stuff. An so extremely this is, beautiful thing. Yeah, and um, that's because of this. Again, this yeah. set. This set is. Uh, it, it, the more I'm going through all this, the more I realise like how much this set was like a real like game changer, yeah. or just a big. Big thing for us. For, yeah, yeah. 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 It, 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 there's so many stories about this set that we took away from this, and I suppose, and maybe that's what draft sets do, right? Mm. Like, I, I, I do remember uh, Everfest, and it was, it was good fun, and it was fine. But there's, um, it's supplemental. Yeah, that's it. Mm. it. You open it, you get what you want. Yeah. That's mm. it. Whereas this, yeah. it's a game within it, mm. and that's, and that's the beauty of having. Um, just having sets that you can draft and, mm. and do sealed and stuff. Okay, lightning press is all bad, not bad, but we should be pretty good. Another strategy, which I think it was it, it was okay for a little bit, the old Cracker Jacks and mm. Thump. I don't think I've seen a Cracker Jacks get opened yet in this whole box. Probably, it's, they never re really get that much. Maybe you get like one or two, kind of like a Suckless hide. But it was the old Cracker Jacks thump and mm. uh, just dominating through. Uh, we always thought that was actually a quite strong strategy in the dra in draft, but it was all right. <laughs> it turned out it was like you you, you kind of want to try and set it up, but it's not the main the main way to go about it. All right, all in touch red. Okay, that's all right. Ice and counter blue. That's good. Okay, bone shot. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not a bad pick, and maybe someone would want to pick that up in in the uh, in. Um, the foil version, still yeah. green. Touch red bag. I mean, three for seven, man. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? And also the the tone of art carries throughout the set, right? It's, yeah. It's very, yeah. It's, 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 it's colorful. Yeah. It's super yeah. colorful. Like the, the with, with the greens and the yellows and, and the blues, the, the color and the tone of the set yeah. is just. Oh man, we've already. Oh man, these three are just. <laughs> well, literally, they're all fire. They're, like, they're ones that. You, I prefer obviously this was blue, but red you can work with red. Mm. Just that that's a set that's a three that's 
I don't know what signal. You'll be sitting there going, oh man, whatever I'm picking is going to send the signal that they're fine on the other side. <laughs> All right, blue flash. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, see, so look. This. This is when things were broken. Yeah. This is when things were crackers. It's whenever, uh, whenever an attack action card you control deals damage to an opposing hero, create an embodiment of an Earth token. So you just have that and you have that at like three. Jeez, all right, okay, sure. I'll just, uh, I'll just do all my stuff and then just have this. Yep. Uh, no, not this, or something like that. I'll just block for five. All right. Back in the day when thing, when yeah. Bri Briar was, Briar was, Briar, as you know, LSS, Briar was broken, but you sorted <laughs> it. You knew, you knew. All right. We haven't seen any... No, not yet. Well, we got, we got we've, that. We, we've, getting... we've, we've learned a lot. And yeah. The, the good card is still to come. Okay, right. Uh, no cold foils. No, not yet. Okay. To be fair, though, our first edition yeah. foil, Channel 8 Frigid. There's nothing to sniff at. Still, there is That's how many packs are left? Not many. <laughs> You're ripping through nicely. It's four left plus that one. All right, cool. So we I Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, of course, I probably no. would I'll take that. I'm probably it, it just, is, is this it, a bit it of a mess? Suits one playmate, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the bags. I, I've actually noticed, you know what, it's actually really interesting. Mm -hmm. You could tell I really played I wanted to play Oldham a lot. Yeah. There's, there's blue, blues. Blue, blues. I'm literally blues. finding yeah. blues and greens. Yeah. You can tell I really wanted to play Olden quite a lot. Maybe I should try and find it. I, 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 okay, there's your Majestic. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, uh, but the excitement comes. Less you never know. Maybe. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bibby, Bolden. Bibby. All right. Okay. Oh. I mean, it's Man. all beautiful cards, but it's yeah, not what it, we're looking for. No, they are stunning. Two more picks left. Uh, what's, what's your hopes? Hopes and dreams. Okay. No. Chilling ice there. Okay. It's not bad. If only this was really yeah. well. Okay. I hope the last pack will, uh, pack will fix it. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, it's a channel like Frigid, which is. That's not bad. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not what you were yeah, hoping for. It's not so bad. I think, no, to be honest, that's actually. That's fair. Oh, it's, not the ma it's not the mad um, alternate artwork one. Mm. If it was that, that would. Yeah. That's, that would have fixed that's, it. That's. that's, that's Extremely spicy. Okay. Um. Oh. Rights of replenishment. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right at the last okay, one. Last oh, I was like, oh, wow. Rights of Voltaire. That's good. That's good. That's good. That fixed it. Well, we. There you go. <laughs> That's your journey. But That's it your took story. Its time. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Let's get it in that sleeve. Imagine if we pulled a pulse of Eisenloft and uh, seen this banned card, but no, we've got this thing. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. What an emotional journey. It's a journey. sight to behold, yes. <laughs> what, what an emotional journey. Yeah. Well, there's my, um, there's my sort of story, I suppose, about the set. You can tell that I've, uh, I've had, as, a, as I'm talking through it, um, there was a lot of things in here that really spoke to me about why the set was really um, important. It was really cool for me. Uh, it was important for a channel. I had a, mm. you know, emotional connection with it with, yeah. with, um, with UK Nationals and yeah. No, this was this was really really good. Thank yeah. you so much. For, thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much for coming and doing this and uh, contributing cards to the raffle. That's that's cool, man. I mean, is there only one card or are you it is them? how many you want. To well, enter, okay. you can enter those two. Yes. Well, yeah, I think these two are clearly the the, the, the they're clearly the best ones to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if there's really anything else of that's 
wild uh, enough to to go in it. But um, I'd I believe say these two are fine. It's it, it's a good choice. I, th- I do think you're missing a Nerf card though. <laughs> It's not Tales of Ari unless you have Ice, <laughs> Earth and Lightning. So there you go. Okay, we'll take those. And um, Hamish, thanks to you. Yeah, thanks to you. No, thank you very no, much. Thank you so much for inviting me onto this, <laughs> yeah. awesome, uh, this awesome channel. Everything you do is really, really cool. I enjoy thanks watching so. it. And uh, the, the streams and stuff that you did over the national season was one of the one of the best better, better streaming stuff obviously channel fireball is one thing but for us channel fireball was my benchmark and yeah yeah that's the way i wanted to do it absolutely uh, or better no but like for, for, for all of us uh, ragtaggers in the in the european community that yeah. are just whipping it up and getting it going yours yeah, was I, yours was definitely right up there as one of the best stuff uh, to stream for all of it so i hope to see more from yourself as well we hope Yeah. We, we hope it will happen. Maybe yeah. next, next year we're gonna have another bigger event. Yeah, man. Cool. And we're gonna stream that. Also, check out Push the Point. Um, there you go. <laughs> there you go. YouTube, uh, very entertaining and interesting. And um, you can learn something about the game. Yeah. So check it out and enjoy. See ya. On our next episode. So, do you want to kind of like open one pack, one pack, one pack? Yeah, one pack? okay. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, I haven't opened a box in such a long time. <laughs> Light or dark, Nikki? I'll have to go with the cheddar. Of course. Naturally. Ooh. Gosh, it's. I'm gonna go for light. Monarch was the first time that we put any kind of focus on regions, and especially. Um, Because our kind of, each set was kind of important to developing the overall story yes. of Flesh and Blood. Welcome to Wraith introduced the general mood, the classes, the concept of heroes, and it also um, showcased four of the of the core regions, um, which kind of served as a good sort of uh, introduction, a, a good sampler of kind of the themes of the game. Because you've got Solani. Episode five, Monarch, with Nicola Price and MJ Fetesio. December 29th, 2022. Oh, man. Uh, I love that. That, end, that. that will end on me thinking you're doing a high five, and I'm like, oh, yeah. no, <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> no, it's all good. I didn't see you. Oh no, it's all good, man. Uh, Did you enjoy that? Was that good? Yeah, sure. Was that fine? Yeah, brilliant. Was that fine? It was exactly what I was hoping for. You know, this is, it's your connection to the set. So you do it your way. It's, it's brilliant. Oh, good. I wasn't yeah. talking too much, was I? No. Sure, but then no, the second you got me going, you went, all right, fuck it. Off I don't go. need this. Yeah, <laughs> I was just doing it. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm <laughs> I was going. just looking for the port. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I bet you were like, okay. Yeah. I was a little bit like, oh, yeah. oh I, I did some good chat, but I'm not, I'm not delivering. Yeah, I, 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 I said to myself, let, let the men work. It's, <laughs> he's on it. Yeah, no, but, thank uh, you.